Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. George Washington said, few people have the integrity to withstand the highest bidder. Let me say that again, I love that quote. Few people have the integrity to withstand the highest bidder. So in other words, when someone is trying to convince you to do something and is adding on money or guilt or reasons or whatever it is to try and push you to do something that you don't want to do, few people have the integrity to withstand it. And yet it is those people who have had that integrity who have made all the difference in our world. Again, let's talk about Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I told you he grew up with a lot of money, but as an adult, that was his parents' money. It wasn't his. When he got into television, he had an opportunity to create a TV show on NBC. And in fact, he was doing it on Saturday mornings. It was called The Children's Corner. Very similar to the show that he ended up doing called Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. And it was very, very successful. NBC saw this and saw his characters, Daniel Striped Tiger, King Friday the 13th, um, Henrietta Pussycat, etc., and said, oh my gosh, this is excellent. This is a natural commercial tie-in. We can have these little puppets doing commercials for children's toys and cereal. Not only that, we can make copies of them and sell them. And you know what? Never happened. Now compare that to Sesame Street where you can buy a Tickle Me Elmo or you can buy a Grover or you can buy a Kermit or Miss Piggy. Mr. Rogers never allowed that to be happen, to happen rather. You know why? Because he did not want to sell things to children. He thought that that was um, out of integrity. He felt that trying to sell things directly to children was out of integrity because children are so easy to sell anything to. Children trust and listen to adults. And if we turn them into just commercial ventures, then we're no longer understanding them as human beings and as people. So, whatever you're feeling pressure to do, I have a good friend who was just offered a job and it's a job making a heck of a lot more money than what he's currently making. Unfortunately, it involves him doing some things that he would not enjoy. Not things that are illegal or out of integrity in that way, but just out of integrity with his own soul. He knows who he wants to be. He knows what he wants to do. But this job would not allow him to work with people, which he loves to work with people. This job would basically have him sitting in an office all day long, making a heck of a lot of money. But at the end, at what price? He is a people person. He loves being around people. And so he turned the job down. It was not even a question. Do you have that ability? Do you have that capacity to say this is it and no more? It's that and no more that is so difficult for many of us to say, I am not going to allow myself to do something that is out of alignment with who I am. So first and foremost, you've got to be clear in alignment with who you are. It wasn't like somebody came up and said, hey, we want to make a Daniel Striped Tiger puppet and you're going to make $50 million, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers knew in the beginning, I will not sell to children. That was a very, very simple, direct decision that he made and he stood by it his entire career. So how about you? What are your things that you absolutely will not do? And are you able to stay with them even in the face of other people trying to convince you to make other decisions or even people trying to offer you money to do them? Whatever it is, make sure that you are in alignment and integrity. There's an old saying that wealth without integrity is like having a golden slipper on a gouty foot. Let me say that again. Wealth without integrity is like having a golden slipper on a gouty foot. No use having a golden slipper with, if what is underneath is painful and uncomfortable and not who you are. So make your own mind up, make your own decisions, refuse to let other people push you or press you into a direction that you know is not in integrity and in alignment with who you are. Follow your own heart and soul. That's the key to happiness. 
Be sure and post your questions and comments below. I respond to them all personally. And enjoy today. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint-free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing.